What application or software do you use to edit or manipulate photos? Other than the premium app of Photoshop from Adobe, which is heavy on the pocket and very prohibitive for a tight budget, there should be an alternative. Searching now on Google for a decent photo editor and a free one on top of that is not difficult. Better yet, just search for GIMP, G-I-M-P, correct, that's GIMP, or maybe some others would say GIMP, GIMP. So we go ahead and search for that, and out of the search results, voila, the search engine even provides quick reference info on the right side of the screen. Let's play with our screen. Uh, let's play with our mouse and scroll over on this page. We select the topmost result, and the website opens up. We can hang out for a few minutes and take some time browsing and reading information relative to the app before downloading. Browsing now. It tells us we are on the free and open source image editor, which it rightfully claims. This is the official website of the GNU Image Manipulation Program, GIMP. GNU is a Unix-like computer operating system developed by the GNU project. So we go over and read some salient features of the free app. Now that we have read more info about GIMP, we are ready to download the program. I am selecting the orange button to download and install files directly. We are selecting the version 2.10.14 which was released on October 31st, 2019. The compressed file will be saved in the download folder on local C drive. Double clicking the file will cause the installation of the program. Looking into the program files folder, we can confirm the app was really installed. I then located a shortcut icon on the taskbar. On the taskbar. Let's go ahead, double click the icon to get a first glimpse of the app. It takes a few seconds to initiate and open the program. So this is how it looks. Uh, on the left side, there are icons and toolbars, and the uh, upper right side, on the topmost upper side is the menu, drop down menu bars. Everything you want to know, know and learn about the program is also included. So we can play around and check all the content of the drop-down menus for our to satisfy our curiosity about the program. We even have to check out what's it. It says Jim version 2.10.14. Now, uh, let's try uh, uh, looking for a file and check out. Okay, on my local drive. Let's uh, open the butterfly file. I this is a file that I used for my previous video about uh, because butter awesome butterflies are free. It's the video that I posted about more than a year ago.
with this uh, file for editing we can uh, convert a file into smaller size to compress or make it larger the dimension the width and the uh, height or we can make it smaller well uh, I use for my website I use a smaller dimension and including the compressed file to save on my space and make the file smaller then we will try to save the file in a different name okay we have the option to make the compressed file smaller or larger or bigger than the, its original file you can also delete the, the, the accompanying information about the, the file here we can uh, have the option to tick off that information so it wouldn't be saved It's really uh, comfortable for me for using this program. Uh, so if you want, you can go ahead and play around with the program. This is free. Okay, we're closing the file. So if you want, uh, you can download the program and install it in your computers. It's free. No, nothing, you don't even have to register. Now we're, we are on this screen, we are comparing the appearance of GIMP and Adobe Photoshop. It looks almost the same. I am behind uploading stuff on this channel as always but hope to compensate for that soon. I really appreciate the support so if you subscribe to this channel it will be awesome.